Hello everyone, before going into today's video, I want you to know that I released on Mobile Fire a massive Talia guide with over 30 pages of content, over 40 matchups and over 30 synergies with information on runes, builds, win conditions, roaming, gang pets and much much more. You have the link in the description below and feel free to check it out whenever you need help and uh, leave an upvote if it did help you. I will also answer all the questions you have guys in the comments or on Discord or wherever you want and I'll also be there for you if you need me. Thank you very much and let's go to the video. Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a Talia mid video, a tutorial which I hope it will be shorter because I feel I neglected Talia mid in a while so we're going to talk everything that you need to know in order to play Talia mid properly and then later this week, well next week, I will do probably a jungle tutorial as well as I haven't done that in a while either. Uh, I'm a bit sorry for that because this should be a Tilia OTP channel and uh, yeah, I, I feel like I neglected that. So let's start with the tutorial. We're not going to focus that much on the game, we're going to focus much on the talking part. Obviously we're focusing on the game as well, but I want to go through everything. So builds, runes, summoner spells, micro, macro combos, what to max. And some extra tips, maybe other stuff as well don't forget to check my guide on mobile fire if you have not and if you are new to the channel because that guide contains everything that you need to know in order for you to play Talia mid lane now if i were to rank Talia where she's most useful now probably most useful now she's on the bot lane with a duo that would be the first but duo wing generally causes some problems regarding uh matchmaking as normally if you duo and you match against someone who's not doing then their opponents will be fairly stronger than your well team oops this guy is aggressive okay now i'm playing uh with ignite because i want to beat this guy and he's jumping on me a lot apparently but I don't really mind because now I'm I'm mid level two and if he jumps on me, I think I win the trade by simply putting the E down when he uses his uh, spell. Also, we're going to start the tutorial in any second now. Now I chose to play with summoner spells ignite and flash because I want to go for the kill. I am certain I can do it, but after six I need to be careful. So maybe getting an maybe getting arm guard or something I'm gonna force a flash here he didn't flash he should have flashed long a long time ago but yeah I'm playing with ignite and uh, I believe I know what I'm doing so uh, I need to stay and push you could play though with heal you could play with barrier and exhaust I play with exhaust against Katarina I play with uh, heal when I need to help my jungler like right now and never mind he backed off no, it's fine it's back 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 it's fine and so this is how you choose your summoner spell basically ignite if you feel that you can win the lane or kill the target uh, and then defensive runes if you're against an assassin such as exhaust for katarina ultimate and Z. Now for Rones I play with Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Rap Biscuit, Timer, Tonic and these rune stats I use them because they are the most defensive runes that I could get against uh, some assassin and Face Rush would also work please don't die here so Face Rush also works but you will have no damage if you go Ignite and I got him I got him <laughs> that was brilliant and so these are the runes, obviously, as I said, face rush could work, but I prefer uh, the safety, well, the extra damage of the exhaust combined with ignite. I would not get the kill probably there at first blood if I went for the others. Now, also, there is an Elise, so I have to be careful to that. And for items, as you can see, I started with two Doran's rings, because he's an assassin at, at six. He might just murder me, and so... We gotta be fairly careful to that. And now we see a Liz on top. We can actually push to be more aggressive here. And I'm 
I'm gonna throw a random W, but I don't mind. As you can see, oops, that that was not something that should have happened. Okay, he shouldn't jump there. And now we expect the list to come from the top side, but we're warding here. If she is at her, if she is at her rights, we're gonna see that. And we want to push this and then back off every time. You push, every time you get a kill you should push or back off. If you push and you are not careful you might die to their Elise. We don't, we don't, we can't get her. Anyway, your first item should be generally something that goes off the last chapter. And I buy a potion every time I recall instead of a corrupting because of the extra HP that you get from time warp tonic combo. And so I'm gonna ping for them to back off. Yep, that's a free kill. That's not a free kill. And he played it awesome. I'm pinging that Wukong is missing. So, generally you should go for either GLP or Ludens. You see it, you both you see both options in everywhere. Pro play in whatever else. Where is Wukong though? Found Wukong on bot lane. He got the kill there. I think that he was missing, so that's okay. And so after Ludens or GLP based on your choice, now GLP is the safer option for you to hit W, you should then consider other items such as Orb, such as uh, maybe Sork Shoes, uh, Rabadon's Landries and stuff like that. Okay, what are you doing buddy? I don't have flash here but he's already forced to back off. And you can see, you can see the differences in how to actually bully online. So, comp so let's let's finish the item stock. I'm gonna push this real quick. Okay, he didn't back off. I need to work for a I I can recall now to get another part of Ludens. I could stay here and push, but I'm a bit afraid as I don't have flash yet that I can just get tricked. Don't play extremely aggressive with Talia, because you can get easily tricked by dashes, by his W, for example, by Z spells and other stuff like that. Here should be a kill. Nice. Double kill. He actually, I think, autoed a <laughs> minion. Anyway, so Ludens, Sork Shoes, Orb, Lyandris, Morello Lyandris, Morello Rabadons, Orb Rabadons, these are the variations you'd want. Obviously against assassins such as this you can go for a Seeker's arm brand. I don't know if I pronounced that right. The thing that you go for Zonia. And I will right after finish I finish Ludens. Some people go for Saiten. I believe you need the extra mana. And so that's another option for you. Extra armor, extra magic resist, things like that work great. And those are against assassins mostly. I'm seeing a Liz. And she's dead. Okay. Now I back off because there is a level 6 Wukong nearby and I don't have exhaust and even if I don't have exhaust he can actually kill me. Because that's how assassins work. You, you gotta be careful. Now I might I might kill him because he went for magic resist boot so he doesn't really have that much damage. But you still gotta be generally careful. And so as you can see here. Okay. I backed off because he could just keep on going at me. And I had no reason to to actually follow that through. I can flash now. And Wukong doesn't have an ult, so it's fine. We're really fine here. And also I have my Lion, uh, Ludens, sorry. And so you got the items part right. Every time you are against an assassin you should go for something defensive such as two Dorans as I did. Uh, the Zonia item, some magic resistance so on. And I buy so many potions since I feel that Time Warp Tonic heals are actually great. 300 health by the way, that's the refresh. Also the movement speed is good. And it's 
quite a strong rune if you think about it against assassins. Now, we talked summoner spells, we talked runes, we talked items. The next part of this video will be about uh, spells. You want to max your Q first, then E. Now, there is a lot of discussion on what to get at level 2. On bot lane, generally, you'd probably want at level 2 maybe your W to deny some fights, or if you want to push, you want the E. Or, uh, yeah, the, you should get the E at level 2 on mid lane most of the times, unless you expect a level 2 gank. And that Wukong is on top lane, because I didn't think he's missing. And that's obviously my fault. It, I'm not even sarcastic, it's my fault. You should always ping when... Come on, let's get first tower. Don't even care if they see me. Okay. Where is the bike? So, because Wukong roamed top, we switched to bottom and got the kills there. Now, as I said, you want to max first your Q, then E, then W, get level 6, alt, and 11. Max it in the normal pattern. And the only combos you really need to know is W, Q, or the reversed one. Uh, yeah, I get it. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, she backed off. So, W, E, Q combo, or E, W, Q combo. The first one, it's not that telegraphic. The second one, you hit the slow first. Now, your Q throws five spellets in a row, you know that. W pushes someone into a direction. And your E deals extra damage to those who step on it. Dashes. So, basically, your W generates that dash if you push it through that. Your Q on a circle deals only one pellet. So, a lot of damage is reduced if you're on a circle so you shouldn't be and then you should uh, also consider uh, always hitting your W. Now your ultimate cast once to throw a wall, cast two times to ride it. I'm expecting now Wukong to be nearby but I can do it one more to attack here to get the plate. Wukong roams a lot and I should just I should just get the tower here actually because I've seen him on bot lane and we can just do some more auto attacks. We've seen him on bot lane. We have, we have a lot of vision, really. And so we talked about combos and and what I preach every single time about combos is that you should absolutely practice in the practice tool. Tulia is not an easy champion, and a lot of people struggle with her. And they struggle because it's very hard sometimes to play against assassins and to hit the main combos. Now here is a choice, you could sell that or you could sell the other. I want to go for for the extra HP from the orb. So how do you practice? Ma mainly you have to practice CSing because her auto attacks might not be the most fun for some people and getting a Doran's ring actually helps because it increases your damage to minions by 5. You could also practice uh, by putting target Dumis. What is Karma doing? I'm getting that. I'm not missing the cannon. Not missed the other two things, but. And so, by practicing your WQ combo, you just put some dummies and play with that. And throw your WQ combo playing ping pong over this wall. I've done this tutorial so many times, but, but this is what you should do. Now, this is on the practice part. I certainly cannot hit that guy, and I need to move, like, okay, got him, but, I'm getting Wukong. Okay, so, the next discussion that you want to have is micro versus macro. Micro is obviously the combos, the fact that you try to never miss your WQ combo and also how it, <coughs> how you actually deal damage towards to a game and macro relies on how good you are at taking objectives, towers, on how good you are at roaming. 
most fun part of Talia's kit, it's obviously the roaming and a lot of people play her for this as they play Overlyon Soul or Twisted Fate. Now on micro we discussed combos but mostly in lane you should position as I just positioned against assassins and I'm considering here do we need... in this game we don't necessarily need... they don't have that many heals besides his heal and so we don't really need Ludens uh, uh, sorry Morelos so we go for another item here and I'm considering getting a stopwatch since they have a lot of instant damage from Pike and Wukong and they are not fed but they are not weak either so we gotta consider they can always murder you and so you have to be careful now that there is a Wukong and she's going straight for it <laughs> uh, be careful please there is a Wukong yep this guy went straight Other kills there. At least got the Drake, but that's fine. We're not really in issues, having issues right now. But if we were to consider now the macro talk, let's let's talk a little about general stuff. Talia is an early game champion. That's right, and you know that. And because she's an early game champion, you have to actually focus. I got that. You actually focus on controlling and winning the map early on. She struggles against most assassins past 6, but she can do decently fine against them, maybe besides Talon, till 6, and Diana. That, those are hard matchups, really. Currently, I kind of ban permanently the Diana. So, your goal is to abuse her early strong power, because in late game, late late game, she actually falls off. So, you gotta do some proper lane fighting, lane pushing, you have to be careful to gank because she's very susceptible to ganks compared to others, she's not echo, you cannot easily escape on her. I'm gonna ping for them to back off. And now my build is quite awkward but we can sell the biscuits because oh my god. I have to go here because they are about to get engaged on. But yeah, because I paid attention to that, we actually got him. Now, again, for the macro part. In the early game, you gotta play safe on lane. I don't have mana. I can do just all the attacks. You gotta play safe on lane, you gotta understand when to go strong over them, when to back off. You gotta understand those facts. I have a biscuit here, I don't know why. Okay. I'm, I'm not gonna catch that guy. If <laughs> okay, <laughs> I got locked somehow to the ult. I could not jump there. Anyway, I didn't waste only to be. I, I got the biscuits down, which I really wanted to. Now it would be tempting to complete more Nomicon, but should, what you really want is to get for to get either Zonia or to go for Rabadons now or Lyandris. More Nomicon should be completed only against heals. Anyway. On the early blame phase, you should push, you should fight 2 versus 2 with your jungler if your matchups allow, and you should always hit the W because if you miss it in a 2 versus 2, mostly you're going to lose. And so you gotta control the early game as you can around scuttles, you gotta see when their jungler is going to gank you, or when your jungler is going to gank you when you get the easy kills. And so we can actually do this because she was on a word and she didn't use the word clearing thing. So the next thing you want to do as a Talia is to focus on the Drakes, you want to focus on the first tower and also on roaming and getting kills spot. I'm standing like this because I don't want to get in the same pile as the Wukong. So you want to roam and how do you roam exactly? You can either roam at 6 with your ult and you can trap them somehow towards towards away from the tower obviously you rarely have to dive tower or you can just walk towards bot lane and do the fake roams so going by the middle of the lane if they don't have words and then backing off or directly roaming bot using your passive which we didn't talk about your passive actually uh, gives you movement speed neighbor walls I kind of forgot about it but it's fine really 
and now here we can take this tower and Ezreal just suicided because he jumped right into me while I was talking which is a very disrespectful thing to do when Talia is talking you don't jump on the hurt now, as you can see with Biscuit Delivery and Time Warp Tonic, I have some mana issues, so in lighter matchups you can go for Presence of Mind Secondary, which is a very strong rune. And your macro goals should be eventually eventually getting the towers and the barons and ending the game through a team fight with your ult. I believe we talked about most stuff here in this guide. It was a short game because we stomped. But this is, these are the general things that you should focus on, you should understand. And what else would be to talk about? Just be careful on barons and drags, on how you use your ult. Using your ultimate on Tilia is very hard. If you want to split team fights, you can actually uh, create some nasty things for your team. And so you should focus on that too. And on that, I would recommend watching my 50 kind of worlds video that I made a while back. And that's another video on its own. But I really believe this was a complete guide. A 21 minute guide in depth about Talia. And I really hope you enjoyed it. So, yeah. And see you next time, guys. And if you feel that I missed any topic, you should write me a comment somewhere or join my discord also and we can talk more about this subject and we will see where we go next from that goodbye guys and i really hope you enjoyed it goodbye